I wanted to give a little information on how to hook up this LED panel meter. If you're like me and you're challenged in the electrical field, uh, getting help is always useful. But as you can see, there are two pieces to this. There's the LED panel meter right here, and then there is the extra board that hooks to the back. And I have a 9 volt battery that powers the whole thing. So we'll disconnect the battery here and pull that back out of the way. Now this panel meter will read 20 volts, 200 volts, or 500 volts. And if you look right, well, let's turn it around. Get it right side up here. If you look right here, you'll see the 20 volt. If you drop a piece of solder across here, this panel meter will read 20 volts. If you drop a piece of solder here, it'll read up to 200 volts. And my system's a 96 volt system, so I have the solder right here, which makes this panel read up to 200 volts. And then where do you want to position the decimal point? You can put the decimal point at position 3, <coughs> 2, or 1. And I've dropped a piece of solder right here to uh, put it on the decimal point for 1. If you look back over here, you can see that there is a ground. So I hooked a ground wire there. And here is the voltage in. So I have two wires to hook to where a normal gauge would hook, the hot wire for your voltage, the ground wire for your voltage. If you come over here, you will see a voltage plus and a voltage negative. This is for the power for the 9 volt battery here. And I have just tied in a switch on the ground side. I broke the ground wire and tied a switch in there so that whenever I flip the switch, it powers up the meter. And as you can see, like I said earlier, it is a two-part switch, or a, I'm sorry, a two-part LED meter. And so there's 10 pins here, and there's 10 pins on that one part there. So you just take and stick the 10 pins into the 10-pin spot.